I'm from a red state, so I feel like I am better prepared for the Trump presidency than most people because I've already lived in a fascist dictatorship. When you live in a red state, it is, uh, it is like everyone around you has a hearing disorder. Like you say stuff and they just hear it, they hear it differently. Uh, like you might say atheist and they hear Satanist. Or, <laughs> You might say feminist, and they hear lesbian serial killing prostitutes. Um, didn't realize that was two prostitute jokes back to back. We're all gonna live through it. Uh, speaking of living through it, once they repeal Obamacare, I don't know how many of you guys remember the television show The Six Million Dollar Man. He won't have any sort of superpowers. He'll just have had two uninsured heart bypasses and LASIK. Like, he can't fight crime. He can barely fight gingivitis. I, the day of the election, I blamed, well, I blame myself. I feel like we all do. And I blamed middle America hayseeds and guys who have bumper stickers that say, life's a bitch, don't vote for one, you know? Um, but I was wrong uh, because 53% of white women voted for Trump. I mean, that's like, that's like in the movie, in the horror movie where they go, the killer is calling from inside the house. <laughs> I, I have seen the face of the enemy and it is us, you know? And it's fucked up because Women are 55% of this country. Like, we could have anything we wanted if we could get our shit together. If we could link arms. We could, if we wanted, make a law where every man had to tape his own dick to his leg before he left for work in the morning. Like, we could have guys going, look, I don't want to tape my dick to my leg. But it's my third strike. Like, we can't... We can't even have a goddamn president because we can't get our shit together. I worry that if feminism was a sport, it would be one where the athlete strides onto a beautiful astroturf field and puts out a, pulls out a shiny gun and just shoots herself in the foot over and over again. It's not really a punchline. It's just like feelings. All right, so we gotta talk about cats. Now, uh, <laughs> this is my new character, exhausted about the idea of talking about cats. All right. Okay. Um, I am an animal lover, which means I love animals. Um, and I don't have a cat of my own, I will confess that to you, but my roommate has a cat, so I like sort of have a cat, right? Because like there's a cat that lives with me, and she's not always. <laughs> using it, you know, like, <laughs> sometimes there's cat for me to love, like, for free, and the cat eats venison, have you guys heard of this, she eats deer meat, yeah, it's something that white women do when they don't have kids, and, uh, they want their cat to have the very best, and I don't think that's, I don't, I don't think it's wrong, like, I don't think it's, like, morally, I just, I feel like it sets her up for disappointment. Like, you know, because like, what if something were to change and we weren't able to provide her with the vet? Like, she, that's what food is to her. That's what she expects. When there's something in the bowl, it better be goddamn deer meat. Um, like, I'm just, what if, what if something changed? When we were unemployed or, or there's a zombie apocalypse or something like, what if we were not able to provide her with the deer meat she is accustomed to? I guess what I'm asking you is, do you guys have any idea how many cats it would take to take down a fucking deer. <laughs> like, 30, 40 cats working together. In a way the cats don't you know, do that. Just out in the forest with walkie-talkies, <laughs> meow. <laughs> I didn't come down here to get a ton political. I just think that cat food should be made out of mouse meat. <laughs>
and disabled birds. Um, something a domesticated house cat has a reasonable shot at. So something, something that, like, and a label would just be like a sad bird with his wing and his sling and a little mouth bubble says, uh, that's nature. Um, the last thing that I wanted to tell you guys, and again, I'm not trying to start fights. But there's no point talking about it anymore. It has been scientifically determined. Cats are dumber than dogs. That's right. That's goddamn right, guys. Cats are dumber than dogs. We're not falling for this bullshit anymore. Look. Your cat is not looking at you in a judgment way. He's not... It's not that he thinks he's superior. He does not know who the fuck you are. <laughs> he sees you every day and he's not sure. Like, when your cat is shredding toilet paper, he thinks he's killing it. Like, he... Your cat, they're attractive, so we want to give them good attributes, but your cat is essentially the equivalent of the really hot guy in high school. And he was always writing his notebook, and everybody's like, oh, he seems deep. <laughs> he doesn't talk much. He's not writing poetry. He is transcribing REM lyrics. <laughs> He's not smart. I'm Virginia Jones. Thank you all. Yeah.